Right then, so if you just tuned in, welcome to another Jukebox at Breakfast. It's Saturday then the 20th of October 2018 and we're live until 9 o'clock this morning. Don't forget, Simon Davis is going to be doing his Saturday morning breakfast show uh, between 9 and 12. Steve here then, with his uh, sounds of the screen and the stage, he's going to be on between 12 and 2. And then Tom Parker is on with his sports show from 2 to 5, all happening here today on Castle Down FM. It's all very, very busy as well because we've got another guest, but not on the telephone. He's actually live in the studio I'd like to welcome to the show the fantastic Ben. Good morning, Ben. Good morning, Kevin and everyone else. How are you doing? I'm okay, thanks yourself. Yeah, not too bad. So you said you get you get up quite early anyway, Ben, in the morning. Seven o'clock for morning prayer in the church. Ah. If anyone can come. It's seven till half. It's uh, eight o'clock until half eight every morning, and it's a good way to start the day. Brilliant. Get, get you out of bed. Brilliant. Is that St. James's Church? Yeah. On a very own Luggish Hall Church. Yeah. Everyone. Because I, I think I first met you, actually. Can you remember I came down yeah. and did an interview with Claire, and you you would do bell ringing, is that right? Yeah, that's right. I was listening to you on the radio lots and didn't know what you looked like, so I knew your <laughs> voice, but not the look, and then bumped into you in the church. That's right, yeah, that's right. Mm. So uh, are you still doing bell ringing, Ben? No, it's at the same time as... Um, as... Um, Something which I can't tell because it's secret. Oh, right. That's fine. No worries. So you can't, you're not doing it at the moment then? No, it's clashed with something else. Okay. All right. But th- just tell us about the bell because it was, it was a really good place. I, I, I loved it because there's few of them, few people do it, don't they? Local yeah. people do it. Um, so w- what stage did you get to then with it? Well, it was the beginning. It looks really easy. Like you just pull a string, but it's really, really difficult and dangerous at first. And you can be. I started as a beginner and I'm still a beginner but several people instructed me on the first lesson and they were like oh you can be catapulted across the room yeah. and yank your arm so I've been in tears with it with holding on the rope it yanked me or accidentally whacking someone in the head oh, no. with it at first yeah. never mind doesn't matter yeah. mate it, it, accidents happen you know it doesn't matter yeah. and there's quite a lot of people as well isn't there there's sort of different groups of people see yeah. lots of people been doing it for a long time yeah um but you are right it's it's a really hard thing to do i had a little go mm. but you and you've got to listen to the guy in charge i forgot his name in charge um i've got his name now. mr mike dunning that's it yeah yeah he was a nice chap they were you're all lovely actually it was really really good and it was from my special section show so um really fantastic so that's universal too anyone can go and have a go yeah like eight yeah o'clock every Every Monday night. That's right. So it's every Monday night, and then and, and then you, once you get good, I suppose you well, get half seven. Oh, half seven. You get to to Roughly. ring the bells as well, don't you? Like for is it for weddings and all sorts of other things going on down the church? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Have you done that yet or n- not? No. No. I'm <laughs> only beginner. Only yeah. beginner. I have done a little bit on one of the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Services. Fantastic. Okay. Now, uh, tell us about this, uh, the group that you're in, that you, you play music in. And, and you've done the Tidworth Fest as well a few yeah. times, haven't you? Tell us about that, please. That's Decibels and Whistles. They were going for a year before I joined them and they were using backing tracks. And uh, somehow I got invited along. I was in a choir at uni and when I left, I missed it. But then this Decibel, I managed to join them. And I'm playing the guitar with them, so it's like assemblies in the morning at school and you've got someone on the piano and everyone's singing it's like that but me on the guitar instead of a piano brilliant and it's really good so what made you what made you ben uh, learn the guitar then well, when i was six my stepfather just showed me a few chords and gave me a guitar book and then one of my friends in wales got me started again went to a few lessons that was inspiring so. brilliant fantastic and you love the guitar then yeah it's obviously your yeah, favorite that's, instrument that's my first instrument my main thing in life that i do in all my spare all my spare time brilliant as much as possible and you've got you've got sue haven't you sue vallis in the group yeah, now yeah certainly. yeah and denise she's still in it as well yeah, yeah yeah lovely denise great fantastic so what what was it like doing the the tidworth festival because you've done that a couple of years now haven't you you guys what, what was yeah. that like for you well it was decibels and whistles first time to playing through microphones and a massive PA. So it was a start there. But was it was, was it exciting? Yeah. <laughs> In front of all those people. <laughs> yeah, we this year we did new material, so 
and it was the first performance of them, so the good month or so before was really hard work, learning four new songs never played before. Yeah, fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. So where do, where do you rehearse them, Ben? Where, where do you practice? Tidworth Community Centre every Wednesday night at, what is it, half eight till half ten. That's everyone's welcome as well, yeah. universal. Yeah, brilliant. That's fantastic. Absolutely Any brilliant. ability, don't... You know, most people can sing. Yeah, yeah. Own melody. Yeah. So. And do you do you choose the songs you're going to practice, or did you all come up to them to, to, to sort of together? How, how, how does that work? I chose any because I don't mind at all. Right. Okay. So, and if someone wants to do a song, then we we do do it. So Brilliant. People who do pick the songs. That's great. Absolutely fantastic. Really, really good. Now, uh, we're going to play a song, if that's all right, because um, you've been doing something else as well, uh, sort yeah. of walking back to health. Is that right? That's right, yeah. Okay, but we're going to play a song first, and we'll talk more about it later on. Is that okay? Yeah, After song. Thanks. Right, we've got the uh, Bobby James uh, Syndicate next. This is Hey, Hey, Hey. It's next on the Jukebox at Breakfast. This is Cast Down FM. At the heart of your community... Your station, your music, your Castle Down FM. So, Ben, have you always lived in uh, Luggershaw? Is that right? Yeah. I have spent half my life in South West Wales and half my life around Luggershaw, Collingbourne Juices, Tidworth, Andover. Right then. So, a bit of a variety then of uh, places. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. fantastic. Yes. Now, tell us about this thing you're doing called uh, Walking Back to Health. Tell us all about that, please, Ben. Well, I'm thinking that like, health and happiness is one of the most important things in life i used to be over 21 stone and now i am about 13 and a half stone and i was doing degree and things and sitting down was the hardest thing because i'd hold my weight up and then i'd slouch struggled to put socks on cutting toenails you might not understand if you haven't been that weight but if you have been that heavy sitting down back pains can be pretty well, not that painful for people who really have got back problems. It's not that, but it's just it. Anyway, feeling ill, opposite to happy, sad and unhealthy. I'm still a heavy smoker, but apart from that, so that's my biggest health risk. So how am I going to... I didn't know if I'd managed to get it off or not. I'm, I'm not always sat down... I wasn't into doing exercise whatsoever a good couple of years back. Joined Weight Watchers and then started kicking off some exercise in the form of Wiltshire walking, which is not rambling, they call it Wiltshire walking. And I was always at the back of everyone, really huffing and puffing out of breath when we get to the top of the hill. And now I feel guilty for not being out of breath when we get to the top of a hill. I just think this is amazing. I mean, losing all that weight, that, that, you must be so proud of yourself, yeah? Uh, a bit. Well, I do feel a lot healthier and a lot happier. Brilliant. You know, and how many walks? Back wa- pain's gone. Oh, good. Completely. That's brilliant, Ben. So how many walks have you done then so far? And where, and where do you walk? Is it sort of the local area? Is that, is that how it's, it's sort of set, set, set okay. up? Anyone can come. It's once a week, Tuesday mornings, half. Half nine, meet in the car park. It's an hour long. We walk around here. There's basically three walks. Windmill Hill, which is that hill next to where the Wellington Academy is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Polo Pitch, which is over where Perham Down is. And Collingbourne Woods. So it's an hour's walk. So it's a maximum of about four miles. So it's just, we can't go any further walking because of the time restriction. Of course, yeah. And yeah. we also have to... I went on the leaders course, which made me... An, enabled to choose my route so it's once a week but if you're doing the leader we have to do a rec walk a couple of days before just to check there's no big puddles or whatever so that's two walks a week and then i've got a third walk a week in with my friends we do a different one plus there's also a church walk often a couple of once a couple of months whatever this is great, absolutely fantastic. Well, I really admire you, you know, right. um, for, you know, really trying to get healthy again and, and what have you. So, mm. so the, the people in the group then, they're, they're yeah. all doing the same sort of thing, trying to, to trying to lose weight and trying to be healthy again. Yeah, yeah. A lot are elderly, and they've so there's another walk which isn't as strenuous for people who are not as able, and you're not allowed to bring any dogs. 
Oh, right. Okay. That's that's fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. So so when's your next one then? And and do you know where you're going to be walking to? It'll be Tuesday morning half seven, and it's either going to be the Polo Pitch, the Woods, or the what was it? Polo Pitch, Woods, or Windmill Hill. The point I was wanting to make is I'm sat indoors a lot of the time. And didn't realise how actually beautiful the countryside around here is. So the walk, the walk dragged me out of the, sat in front of the TV, and made me realise actually what a beautiful place Lowshaw is. And it, yeah, absolutely amazing. So what was your weight before then, and what is it now? Twenty-one, and now it's about thirteen and a half. So it's a third loss. It's not just walking. I've also got. I wasn't a very active person. So if someone's really overweight, it can be done. As you, the clubs are universal. So I've added in an hour's badminton a week, hours kickboxing, hours taekwondo, uh, which is in complete contrast to what I used to be, which is I wasn't into exercise whatsoever. Wow. So all those other things as well that you're doing, not just mm. your walking then. So, yeah, absolutely fantastic. So you, anybody listening out there who would like to lose weight, you, you can do it, basically. That's, that's the message. Well, yeah? I can do it. The thing, it doesn't, I've tried to drag people along. I guess we're all different. For me, it's fine. It might not be fine for others, but yeah, yeah. if you try it once, you'd know whether it was well, suitable for one or not. I think you're absolutely amazing. Well done. Okay. So, and you were saying about this walking club, anybody can come along, yeah? Yeah, universal. Okay. All right. Um, not dogs, though. No, no dogs. Well, that's fair enough. You know, that's fair enough. So, and you said you're going again this Tuesday and half yep. past seven in the morning. Yes. Is that right? No, it's half past nine every half, Tuesday. Half past nine, sorry. And it's good socially. And we go to the Queen's Head afterwards for a cup of coffee and a biscuit if you want. No, nothing's compulsory. Great. Fantastic. Now, before you go, when are you yeah. singing again next? Or when the group's singing again? And where are you going to be? When's, when's your next local uh, gig, basically? And practice is every Thursday night, half eight till half ten at the community centre Tidworth and the gigs coming up. We've got lots of Christmas ones coming up in about a month's time. You excited about that, Ben? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's great, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. What's your what's your favourite Christmas song then, would you say, of all time? Uh I like all of them the same amount. Yeah, yeah. Just like them all then, basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That'd be really, really good, wouldn't it, actually? Fantastic. Well, good luck with that, all right? Okay. It goes really, really well. Um, and is there anybody you'd like to say good morning to before you go? Uh, good morning to everyone. Maybe Mr. Allen, my care coordinator, if he's listening, he said he'd tune in, he might have. Fantastic. Might have. Or Brilliant. mum, maybe she's listening. And your mum as well. as well. What's your mum's name? Um, it's secret. Oh, it's secret. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Fair enough. No worries. No worries. Well, listen. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming in this morning. All right. Okay. And also, you popped in as well, didn't you? When we had our McMahon and um, coffee morning. Yeah, okay. certainly did. Yeah, that's that was good, good. was it? It's good morning. Did you enjoy yeah. that? Yeah. All the all the DJs here that I'm listening to. On yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Fantastic. Right. Have to come back again sometime. Come and talk yes, to us. Please. Okay. That'd be great. And Thanks how are you getting on? And um, I just think you're amazing for losing all that weight. Well done to you, Ben. And it yes. just proves you can do it, basically, you know, and, and, and not just walk in all those other activities you're doing as well once a week. This is, this is brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. All right, Ben, we'll speak to you soon. Thank you very much for coming in. All right. Here we go. go. Thank you very Thanks. much.